Good morning, friends and fellow traders. This is Doug Campbell with Rightway Options, and this is the Morning Market Prep video for October 30th, 2023. Well, boy, oh boy, did we have a rough day on Friday as those sellers came in hard, but this morning we're seeing a pretty substantial bounce back up, and I think I think there may be the possibility that we could even um, get grab a short squeeze here sometime this week. So um, first off, we had Asian markets last night, mostly higher. We had um, Australia and the Nikkei were both lower, but um, the, the rest of the um, Asian markets were higher last night. We got European markets are green across the board this morning. As a matter of fact, decidedly bullish this morning. We've got um, oil stocks moving lower here this morning, despite those uh, increasing tensions over there in the Middle East. They are getting some pull, but pullback here this morning. And bonds, unfortunately, they're just kind of hanging in there. We've got our 30-year bond at uh, 5.02. Two-year bond is at 5.04. Our 10-year is at 4.87. And then our shorter term bonds are at, at six month 5.53 and three month at 5.43. So uh, they're just kind of hanging in there. They're not really relieving all that much, at least at the moment. So we also have a huge week of data coming our way on the economic calendar let alone the earnings calendar. One thing we'll want to keep in mind though, about 40% of the stocks are coming out from under their um, blackout period. So we have that opportunity that we could begin to see buybacks. And with this being the end of the month, we also have that possibility of a little bit of end of month window dressing. So what does that mean for today? Well, how about we settle in, let's buckle up, let's get ready for the Friday, excuse me, the Monday edition of the Morning Market Prep video. Good morning once again, everyone, and thank you so much for being here. I do truly appreciate it. Let's take a look at some charts here and see if we can remove that bias and just really take a look at what we've got going on here for this morning, how we might want to approach the market today. Well, one thing we can certainly look at is in the short term, we are very oversold. This is a very, very steep sell-off here in the market, pretty dramatic as a matter of fact, and we came into some price support here that I would I had marked on Friday. I know everyone was probably thinking there's no way we're going to go down there. And then, boy, did we do it, and we kind of did it all at once. So finding that price support and bouncing today, and let's take a look. If the bears were to find something in the data today to um, really push back, that possibility that we could push down into here. And by the way, guys, there's there's always, always, always a possibility that we could retest the lows. So even though we're bouncing up here this morning, don't be too surprised if we find some initial selling and that push back down here to retest the lows. We remember this is the market is nothing more than a great big auction and everyone's trying to figure out what the correct price is for stocks so if we have to retest lows that's just there's nothing wrong with that that just means that we want to check again to make sure that's going to be the floor now if the bulls find inspiration notice i put in this um, sharp downtrend it won't be too hard to break this downtrend if we can find some bullish inspiration. And first thing we'll want to notice, we've got a little price resistance right in here that we'll want to be paying attention to. And we're trying to gap up into that area here this morning. So watch that carefully. If we can push up into here and into that downtrend, that's going to be our first area of resistance in the chart. If we can pop through that, then we're probably looking up here at this resistance. And that's a little bit more of a significant resistance. We may need a little bit more in data to push us up through that area. So 
watch that carefully. Then if we take a look at our moving averages here, obviously very, very bearish. We're likely to see the 50-day moving average this week down through the 200-day, and that's going to create this significant zone of technical resistance in the chart with all those moving averages coming down. And let alone that, we've got tremendous price resistance in the chart right through that area as well that we'll have to be dealing with as we rally back so i want to make this very very clear although i believe we're probably going to get a lift back to the upside all it might be is a little bit of oversold relief rally don't get the idea that this means the fourth quarter begins um, with the santa claus rally and we're going to zoom all the way back to the top side i don't want to rule that out that possibility does exist as well but just keep in mind, we've got a lot of barriers to that before, so we're going to need some improvement in some of the data to make that occur. Let's take a look at our SPY. SPY, also extremely bearish, coming down and testing this lower side of support. Pretty darn substantial sell-off here in that very steep move. You notice that I didn't put that downtrend in here on this but let's keep a close eye on a downtrend in that area we'll want to be watching that as resistance if we can bounce back up now taking a look as you can see um, as we start to push back in a nice bounce here this morning trying to recover a big part of friday selling here um, all at once in the pre-market which like i say could potentially trigger a bit of a short squeeze to the upside and just really push out um, short traders uh, trying to grab some profits and if you'll take a look we've got some resistance right in this area here so if we watch this area up here if the bulls can push that hard maybe the top side of that candle maybe push up into there if that were to break then we're probably coming up a bit higher up into here now that would be a huge move for a single day i'm not saying it's not possible but uh, with the data we've got coming this week maybe not all that likely to just um, push all the way straight up in there but keep an eye on it now if the bears find inspiration then i'm going to suggest a retest of this low push back down remember always an opportunity that we can retest the lows before we begin to bounce now if that were to break however then our next level you can see we've got a little level right down through here would be down in there and we cannot rule that out at this point because this has been quite an ugly sell-off and of course with all the uncertainty with the geopolitical issues out there um, anything is possible just um, it could take about half a second for everything to reverse from a news report um, in the Middle East so watch that carefully here today technically in the chart well as we rally back up you're gonna notice that once we start popping up through this top side right in here we're going to come into an area here where we're going to have a zone of technical resistance we got a 500 a 200 day our 20 and 34 are coming down quickly so as we push up in here we're going to run into a bit of technical resistance in the chart as well to be paying attention to then if we take a look at our qqq well our qqq has been the strongest of the indexes pretty rough here recently as the so-called magnificent seven weren't performing all that magnificently so watching this carefully here we've tested hard this support area where we've been trying to hold in this zone that possibility that we could have slipped down in here but you'll notice that on friday we did not break that low the qqq held up pretty well on friday so watching this carefully if the bulls can follow on through here then maybe we start looking up into this area of the chart for that next resistance area you can see there's a downtrend in here so as we start pushing up we're going to run into that resistance and possibly even push through to test this level up here if the bears find inspiration and continue to push then we'll look for that opportunity that this could break that low and push on down toward this next level here in price support on the NASDAQ. And there is some reason that that 
that could occur. Notice our 200 day moving average is down here. We're very, very close to testing that and it really wouldn't be a surprise if for some reason we find that energy to push down in here, test that 200 day before we really start any kind of meaningful bounce. You just never know about the retest of lows and that possibility that we could dip a little bit lower in that retest. So be kind of careful here and don't just assume we're going to rip back to the upside. Let's take a look at our IWM. Clearly IWM, the most bearish of the market. Not only did we hit this support, but boy, we sliced right through it yesterday, making new lows for not only the year, but we broke the 2022 lows here in the Russell. And that possibility, if the bears were to keep pushing, you can see that next level down here could be uh, that possibility if we push on down. Now, I will say this is a very, very steep sell-off. You can see we're getting a nice bounce here this morning, so I would not rule out that possibility if the bulls step in, maybe a little bit of short covering coming into the market if we can squeeze this with some good data and push this on higher. So watch that carefully. If we can start breaking through some of these little levels right in here, then maybe we can start stretching up toward this downtrend in the IWM and relieving that pressure. Let's take a look at our VIX here really quick. Our VIX on Friday continued to extend up, but the good news, if there is any good news here, is it didn't take out this high. We tried at one point to peak up there and uh, didn't didn't hold on to it to the end of the day. So with the bullishness that we're seeing this morning in the pre-market, if that can hold, look for that possibility that this pulls back and we may even come back in here testing this trend here in the in the VIX. Watch that carefully. Might find a little bit of price support in here as well. So watch that carefully if those bulls uh, find inspiration to continue to push. Now, if the bears, if the bears come in with inspiration, then I would look after what we're seeing in the pre-market. If we were to reverse and go down, significant panic could occur in the market and we could see that sell off in here and really begin to spike. So watch carefully for that if that were to occur. And remember, it really is just a single report out of the Middle East if things suddenly turn worse that we could really spike in some fear here in the market. Let's take a look at our T2122. This is easily by far one of the best indications of a relief rally. We have been oversold and we stayed oversold this whole week. I thought maybe earlier on in the week we might catch a little bit of relief, but we decided to linger in here with the worries of the war and um, or wars, I should say. And so now we have that opportunity end of month Coming in, we have a relatively light day in, in um, earnings and economic reports here by standards of the rest of the week anyway. So watch that closely as we kick this up. We may turn this thing back higher, pushing up and relieving some of that uh, sell pressure in the market. That does not necessarily mean this suddenly turns into an upside trend. So watch carefully. Uh, T2108, T2108, obviously very bearish on Friday, pushing on through to a new low. We broke this price support in here, but now we're trying to bounce here in the pre-market. So if the bulls find inspiration, let's look for that push up in here. Maybe we can start testing some of these resistance levels in the chart, relieving some of that pressure. Only about 15% of the stocks holding above their 40-day moving average. Clearly a very bearish situation here in the market. Now, if the bears were to find additional information for um, selling, uh, just kind of look right down in here. We have been lower just in 2022. We could retest those lows pretty easily here if those bears decide to push in the market. So watch that carefully. Now this downtrend, we had this pretty sharp downtrend here that 
um, we slipped out from underneath but if you'll notice right in here we've got this little downtrend going on so if we start pushing up here let's look for these areas in the chart to be a little bit restrictive unless we can find something in the data that really pushes us through and then if we take a look at our t2107 extremely bearish our downtrend here has been relentless in the small caps continuing to push lower there is a little bit of price support in here so perhaps we catch that bounce here today and bounce on higher but just remember there are more levels lower if the data piles on to the downside um, we still have to worry about that possibility that we could move on down for those uh, bears if the bulls uh, find that inspiration and, and push through like they are this morning. We'll just start looking for these resistance levels in the chart that we'll want to be paying attention to as we start pushing back up. Very bearish condition here, less than 25% of our stocks above their 200 day moving average. Gives us that little bit of hope maybe for a, a little relief rally at a minimum. And our T2101, is also hinting that the selling may be losing a little bit of energy here in the market. Now, unfortunately, we did push up and break out of this downtrend here in the market. What we need to see, what we need to see as the buyers come in, is we need to see that big push here to continue to extend that market breadth on the buy side. One of the things we don't want to see, we don't want to see that buy side move really start to fade that um, momentum in the market. And it certainly is possible. We've seen a lot of that recently. When the buyers come in, they just don't have the energy to push on through. And there would be some understanding of that too, because a lot of folks have been really beaten up in this market. Maybe they're just gonna stand on the sidelines for a while and wait for better times. Certainly couldn't blame them for doing that. Let's take a look at our economic calendar here for today. Now our economic calendar, um, it's a light one today, not much going on. We got Dallas Fed Manufacturing, a couple bond auctions, but oh my goodness, then we really start to ramp up. As you can see, we're gonna begin the FOMC meeting here on Tuesday morning. We've got employment cost index, Case Shiller prices in here. We're going to get Chicago PMI, consumer confidence on Tuesday. And then as we roll through into Wednesday, we've got our mortgage applications, ADP report, treasury um, statement. We've got a uh, PMI manufacturing, ISM manufacturing, construction spending job openings report, the petroleum status, and then of course an FOMC meeting and the Fed chair statement here on Wednesday. So if we don't get any relief today, look for Tuesday and Wednesday, we could just be wandering around in choppy price action waiting um, for this. If we can get a nice move today, maybe a little bit of follow through on Tuesday, then we're probably going to go into the wait and see mode and see what the Fed's going to do and all of this data. Now, keeping in mind as we move through Wednesday, it doesn't get a whole lot easier. We come into jobless claims, productivity and cost, factory orders, uh, um, natural gas report, Fed balance sheet, and then into Friday, we've got that big uh, monthly employment situation number that we'll be dealing with here. So a lot of jobs data this week, and that's been problematic for us. It's been coming in hot. So watch that carefully as we progress throughout the week. Now let's take a look at our earnings calendar for today. And our earnings calendar is kind of a busy one that we'll want to be paying pretty close attention to. It, it doesn't have you know, too many major notables, the kind of things that are going to just change everything in the market. But we will be, you know, getting reports from Mickey D's here today. And old Mickey, um, you can see trying to put in a higher low here. It is definitely set up for an upside move if we can get some good numbers here in McDonald's. So watch that carefully. Um, we're going to hear from stocks like um, AGNC today. Keep an eye on those. CRK. We've got um, Denny's that will be reporting today. 
we're going to hear from IRT this morning. Uh, take a look at um, on semiconductor. Keep an eye on that. Uh, Pinterest will be reporting today. PetSmart will be in there. Excuse me, PriceMart, not PetSmart. Um, we've got uh, PSA, Rambus in the list today. Uh, VNO, um, XPO, WDC. So those are a few of the notables here this morning to be paying attention to. Now, if you want to catch the full list of notables, make sure you click the link just below the title of the video. That'll take you back to the morning blog where you can catch that full list. Let's take a look at some stocks that could be setting up for today. But before we do that, guys, do me this quick favor. If this is the first time you've seen these videos, if you could please click that subscribe button on YouTube. Also click that bell icon when it pops up, so you'll be notified every time I post a video. And if you find these videos to be useful or helpful, if you could do me that favor, that would be also clicking that thumbs up button, leave a, leaving a brief comment. That helps the channel to continue to grow. Um, I truly, truly appreciate that. And I want to um, so just say thank you to everyone who does take the time to do that. It means, means an awful lot to me. Also, big shout out to everyone out there who continues to support the the channel through the buy me a coffee link. Thank you so much whoever for those folks that continue to do that. Let's take a look at uh, the stocks setting up and remember guys these aren't recommendations to buy or sell any security. You're going to have to do your own due dil diligence and obviously be very very careful in this market because the volatility can just take your head off so quickly. So make sure you're paying close attention to your rules and your guidelines following your trading plan. Never ever blindly follow anyone else's trade ideas. First off, I'm gonna put Mickey D's right on that list. As you can see, I put a, an alert here on that chart. Obviously, this has been tremendously sold off. We're pushing into some price resistance here. So this will be a critical earnings report and that possibility that we could start making our way back up here in Mickey D. So keep an eye on that. Now, I would say this right here, could be too steep of a, of a rally. Um, that's pretty steep, but obviously this was a steep sell-off. So maybe we get a little bit of relief and then we flatten that out a little bit to continue on up. But keep an eye on Mickey D's. Certainly an interesting chart today with its earnings report. Um, Starbucks. Starbucks is another one that I think should be watched. Unfortunately, we did on this selling here on Thursday and Friday, break that little upside trend. But notice we're still trying to cling right here to this to this hold. Let's see if we can hold right in there. If we can bounce right back up and hold, then look for that next opportunity there in Starbucks. It's also possible that this could rally back up into here, find those sellers, and come right back down so might be an opportunity for a short um, and there certainly has been a lot of opportunity for that lately um, i will say that i think there is a pretty good opportunity to um, keep an eye on btu uh, btu obviously we have just hated on coal forever what we're starting to see is a lot more love coming back to coal here and it, um, nice break of the trend here on that big sell-off, but notice we're pushing right back up. If this can hold up in here, then look for that next opportunity to the upside. If it fails up here, however, that could be the beginning of a downtrend. So watch that carefully here in BTU. That one could go either direction. Take a look at CRM. Now CRM is one that I was watching up here for that possible move to the upside. Clearly what's happened here, we're moving in a downtrend and we steepened this downtrend here. But with this being such a big support area, I would watch this if we do get a little bit of a short squeeze here in that chart in, in the market here over the next couple of days. Watch this carefully. If this comes back up and holds, it might be worth keeping an eye on. If it comes back up and shows failure here, then this is a straight up short and I would look for the next support levels in the chart to be tested as that continues to break down. So watch that one closely. Take a look at some of the retail out there. 
um, retail stocks have been coming up pretty substantially here. Take a look at Macy. We, we've got a, it's an ugly pattern in here. There's no doubt about it, but that's kind of an inverted head and shoulders pattern in that chart. If we can break through this area up here and then hold, watch for that upside trend to uh, resume in here in Macy's as they come back around. And we can see this happening in a lot of these retailers and particularly discount retailers looking in here, K, um, KSS moving to the upside, trying to show that bullishness. This pullback here on Friday wasn't it significant enough to may really be worried about maybe a little bit more rest and then look for that next opportunity in Kohl's to the upside. Stocks like Dollar General um, would be something to be watching. Nice upside move going on in here. That little rest last couple of days, you can't even tell that there was a sell-off here on Friday in Dollar General. So watch that carefully if we can get those bulls going to the upside. There certainly is plenty of opportunity there. So keep an eye on some of those st stocks. There are some good things to be paying attention to in that discount sector. Um, so for example, Target struggled here on Friday quite a little bit, but we still have that tiny little bit of hope that we have oversold this um, enough that there may be a little bit of upside. Walmart, on the other hand, has just been very, very bullish in this bounce back rally. Look for a little bit of price support in here and see if those buyers can step on up. Now, all of these, remember, we're coming into some really big earnings numbers this week. So make sure you're paying attention to those earnings dates. We'll wanna be watching that closely. One of the major notables that we're going to get this week is gonna be Apple. So keep an eye on that on the second, on Thursday. This could really move the market dramatically, either up or down. So watch that carefully. And with all the economic data, boy, we're going to really have to stay on our toes this week for that potential. I cannot rule out the possibility of more downside in the market. I have lots of hope for a little bit of upside in the market, but I'm not going to risk a lot of money on that upside move just in case it fails i need to see a higher low and what i mean by that is i need to see those markets come back up off of that low come up prove a little higher low and then i'll have much more confidence in that upside move not a bottom picker i want to be watching for those technically correct patterns in the market where i see the institutions are actually following through not just providing me that head fake that we've seen here in the market uh, so many times um, we can certainly see that in the russell where we've had plenty of head fakes in here Ah, everything's going to be great. Nope, it's not. Everything's going to be great. Nope, it's not. Everything's going to be great. Nope, it's not. So don't get caught into the head fake. Make sure we wait for that higher low to occur. Push up, put in that higher low, and then show me that upside move. Um, I don't have to take near as much risk in those trades. So with that, everyone, I want to wish you all a fantastic day. Thank you so much for being here. I really appreciate it. Have a great day, be safe, and I'll see you right back here bright and early Tuesday morning. Wish you guys all the very, very best.